Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We got a good shave for you today. We're gonna use that Yaki Duomo second use. We're gonna use a brand new Wilkinson Sword Saloon Pack because they are out and they worked pretty good the last time. And Matt1989 sent me this. It was uh, Oxford and Cambridge, check and speak. Oh, dropped it. Seems to be triple milled. First ingredient is sodium tallowate and then water. Um, very hard though. So we're gonna wet the face. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's a few things. I, I haven't used it yet the way I intended. But Matt did send this really cool bowl he turned himself. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. So we're going to wet the puck. We're going to take it and just kind of rub it against the grain. Wet it again. I have a really hydrated boar Samog. He likes his Samog. I can't remember if his is the same as mine, um, but it's very similar. I think his actually is. I don't think he has the faux badger dyeing that goes on with that. So we're just loading it up on top of what we put on the face, and I think we should be good. Nice masculine scent, well blended. Really warm water going on. I soaked the brush, let it sit for the entire time of a Picard episode. Then I came in here, shook out the brush, emptied the mug and filled it with really hot water again. So we got a nice hot shade. Not that we need it, weather is beautiful today. We're going to be in the mid to upper 60s, I think, the rest of the week. Let's just paint it on for a minute, and then I'll go to lathering. Paint in some water. And got a little spot over here. I ended up having a, uh, um, I guess it was a cyst, actually. Had cyst in that ear before, had to have surgically removed, so they go away and stop coming back. That's in a different area of the ear than the other one could be. Two days worth of growth with the Duomo. Just talking about the Duomo, I was looking at it a little closer. Excuse the sniffles, man. Pollen's out. So, we'll put up the specs on the Duomo. I don't think I did that last video. And, one second, guys. I spared y'all that really bad sniffle, snort, whatever it may be. You're probably not going to be able to notice. They did high polish, but you can still see, y'all see the machining marks still on there? There you go. Um... Not a problem with it, but if you're going to have machining marks, you need to lower your price point. Like, I do like these razors Yaki has. They look awesome. They're clones of some vintage designs, um, things I definitely want to try. But then when you see things like the finishing, it's like, guys, you're, you're charging what American and Canadian made razors are charging. Italian made razors are charging. And your finishing's not up to snuff, in my opinion. Um, I'm probably going to buy this from the inspector. Because I do like it. It's It looks good, shaves well. Look how fast I'm using that. No issues. Spot right there might have nicked. Yeah, we did nick right there. 
All in all, not a bad shaver. So some people don't like open combs because they feel pointy and all that stuff. This doesn't feel pointy because you're not feeling the end. You're feeling this part, which is nice and rounded. Done well. You know, we got a weeper where I said I would. It's a nice shaver though. We're going two passes. And that's the deal. Two passes. I won't get a shave Monday night because I think if everything goes well, Matt 1989 and I will be meeting, meeting up to get some Mexican, which is nice. I've only met two people since I've been in the wet shaving community in person. Guys, I could load more and make this work, but I'm good with it. Are y'all good with it? I'm good with it. Slickness will be fine. So, I will compare this. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm going to ask Matt if he wants to uh, maybe borrow this. I need to talk to Inspector. And uh, maybe a straight razor. But I want to compare this. To the pre-20... 11R41, and that's the other thing. I've been using this pre-2011 R41. And that's supposedly a lot more menacing than the current version of R41. But I like this razor. The more I use it, the more I like it. A little cocky and overconfident. Got a nick there. There's blade feel, but not much. Medium aggression. That's kind of where I am with it. All right, guys, you know the drill. Rinse up. We'll be right back. Hey guys, we are back. We're going to follow it up with some Suavecito Whiskey Bar. You know, just water, alcohol, fragrance, and some menthol. It's all I really need. Sometimes that's the best. We're going to get some stings, though, because I know I did nick down here. It looked like there was a second tiny little weeper over here. Oh, man. I really like Suavecito Whiskey Bar, guys. Inexpensive aftershave. Man. Scent notes on this are just amazing. I can't remember what they are. I think whiskey's in there, like lavender and some other stuff. It's amazing, in my opinion. I know other people say it seemed floral. Other people are like, oh, I liked it, but it, does seem, it doesn't seem floral to me, but whatever, what do I know? Check and speak. Oxford and Cambridge shaving. So, worked out pretty good. I could have spent more time loading it and lathering it because this is a rather short video, but... Worked out well. Got the shave done. Um, Got to pull some clothes. Pretty much I washed the uh, sheets. Ooh, look at all that. A lot of hair left underneath. So what was I saying? Um, worked well enough for me. I did enjoy the Duomo. Got to get some sheets out of the dryer. Um, we got everything all nice and, uh, got to get the sheets clean, man. Matt, 1989, we're hooking up at the Mexican food restaurant to make it lucky. No, I'm just joking, Matt. Don't take me serious. Just making a joke. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I do like the Duomo. I do like the handle. If I buy this from the inspector and I want to try different heads out they have, I can just buy the heads and I know this handle's going to fit. Zero issues. Oh, Samogue Excelsior, nice little brush. You want a bore brush, I recommend picking this up. This is a good way to start out, as well as your Omegas. Omegas are inexpensive, and I like Omega brushes. 
just as well. And Omega will shed here and there. I haven't lost a hair in my Simone. All right, guys, you made it this far. Consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, hit that noti bell, and we will catch you next shave.